Microsoft Planner 2023 Tips and Tricks Quick and Easy Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and incredible day. In this video I'm going to be sh like telling you and talking about Microsoft Planner and like it's short tips and tricks that you can do to you know just become a master planner and just you know have a good interface on Microsoft Planner. So one of the first things obviously like you know in the creating plan section you have all these different templates. You can go with a new blank plan, you have simple plans, project management plans, software development. Obviously every plan is according to whatever organization you're in. So you could be in, you know, a huge project management company based, uh, you could be in a huge business company, a simple plan, you know, this could be for your college or something, or you could like have a proper software development team where you can have a streamlined roadmap for software product development. So to like, you know, have a good ethics for this you like let's say i'm gonna go with this plan i'm just gonna name it randomly name it public and click on create now once you like create plans for yourself you can like uh first of the foremost things is you can add emojis to your task title so entry task name okay so this could be create code you know something like that and to add emojis just click right click click on emoji and Look at that. You can just add emojis and then just click on add task and look at that. You can add emojis. Words are great, but you know, sometimes emojis are just better. Secondly, you can go in your tasks and uh, add attachments, checklists, notes and blocks, you know, notes right here. You can add checklists, attachments and blocks of, you know, comments and stuff like that to just be more, uh, you know, comfortable with your people. Then you can copy a single task or an entire plan into, you know, your new bucket, something like that. Then obviously you can go into your settings where you can drag between buckets to edit tasks. You have different themes. Make sure to try them out. Let's say you add these themes. It's going to, it's just going to look much better, look much, you know, warmer, more addictive, and uh, you're just going to feel much better working on this. Then you also have different grid views, board views, chart views, uh, mess around with those as much as you want to drop it between buckets, edit them, add tasks, and also change dates on the scheduling screen. But yeah, those are like your basic uh, tips and tricks for Microsoft Planner in like the quickest way possible. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, drop down a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.